And as promised this evening in our Europa Countdown studio, it's the Moody Blues. Two of the members of the band sitting next to me, John and Justin. Let me see, the Moody Blues. Now, you did a worldwide farewell tour in 73, regrouped in 78. And I mean, now you're back with a, with a hit selling record in the States, working on Europe, obviously. How do you guys keep up with the pace? I'll start with John. Just enjoy it. Uh, rock and roll's part of my life and a part of the Moody Blues, and we just enjoy doing it every minute. Justin? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it's fun and it's a pleasure. We never did a farewell tour. We did a see you later <laughs> tour. Yeah. See you later, guys. Yeah, yeah. Right. See you in three years that's tour. Uh, yeah. Manana, so yeah. That's right. Yeah. Ate yeah. manya. That's what it is in Portugal. Is so, right? Yeah, they're watching right now, okay. so I'm sure they'll love it. Ate manya. Very good. Um, now, let's see. Moody Blues has been together for 21 years now, right? Yes. Okay, sir. I'm 21. Do you think that today's record buying audience can, uh, you know, can relate to what the Moody Blues are doing these days? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got a big hit record in America right now, and the album's a big success there, so we're obviously relating to somebody. Yeah. And yeah, we, I, the, 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 the Moody Blues fans, they go from 10 years old to, you know, 60 years old. 21. 21 years 20, old. Yeah. <laughs> 21. We, uh, we also hope, of course, that this album will bring the Moody Blues all across Europe, you know, with the new television, the satellite television. Uh, America, of course, is huge communication network mm -hmm. and we're hoping that uh, the satellite network will really put the Moody Blues across Europe as well. Very good. As a matter, you know, it's happening right now as we're broadcasting all over Europe. So, uh, hey, <laughs> say, hi to Europe there. <laughs> right. Um, you, uh, the Moody Blues also have their, uh, their own record label and I've heard that it's uh, been called the Rolls Royce of record labels, but I'm not quite sure why. Maybe you could, uh, could explain. Um, because we can only make one album every two years, and that's probably like Rolls-Royce cars. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't happen to drive a Rolls-Royce, do you? Well, uh, yes. You're, you're not serious? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You are serious, I was afraid of that. Um, uh, but I do run. Yeah, yeah we're going to talk about that in a minute, in a second. Uh, as a matter of fact, about, about your t-shirt, Run the World. Um, first, uh, of course, you know, you've, you've seen the whole video, uh, video culture uh, be born, I guess I could say. What, what do you think of videos? I think a, a great video can obviously, if it's got a great record, you've, it's a smash. But um, a bad video, I think, can kill a good record and the other way around. But uh, we've got a great video with this new, with our new single, and we're very pleased with that. I was just going to ask you what you thought of your own video, but you gave yeah. me the answer. No, we're very pleased with the, the one we've just done. We put a lot of our own ideas into it, which is the first time we've ever done that, and we really, it really came off well. Uh, we, we also found a director that could translate our ideas. See, the Moody Blues music has always been music that you make your own pictures to, and we didn't want anyone else to sort of translate our music into what they thought the, the, the pictures were. We wanted to say, this is the whole, you know, the whole picture. We found a director who could do that for us. Very pleased. Well, what's your favorite video clip besides your own? Oh, there's so many. Just to, off the top of your head. I, I like the one the, uh, with the police with uh, every breath, uh, every breath I take. I love that one, the black and white one. Yeah. yeah. I like, at the moment, are probably rough boys, you know, uh, ZZ yeah, Top. It's it's brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. But I, you know, I think after you've seen it like two times, then you know what's going to happen. There's no big surprise to it, though. No, but the first time, it's like instant music. That's, like, that's <laughs> what ZZ are, you know, okay, it's instant yeah. music. Yeah, you got it. T-shirt time. Tell me, tell me about this T-shirt. I mean, you've, you've had it on. Uh, what's it all about? Run the world. Okay, <clears throat> sport aid. There we go. The race against time, is that what it, that's that's right, what yeah. it said? Explain, please. Uh, well, on Sunday, uh, well, the whole week, uh, this week is Sports Aid Week, uh, where basically sports people are raising money for uh, Ethiopia. Yeah. And on uh, Sunday, there's a race that starts at 4 o'clock in England. I think it's 5 o'clock here, uh, different time zones, but all over the world at the one time. Uh -huh. There's probably going to be about 5 million people running. It's going to be the biggest race of all time. Really? And hopefully everyone um, is going to be sponsored and raise a lot of money for uh, Ethiopia. And you're running along in that? Yes, I'm running. I'm running. Are you out of your mind, man? Uh, out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's so hot in here. I can see, you know, you're obviously sweating on your beautiful T-shirt. I just want to give you uh, an official countdown T-shirt there. Fabulous. So you can put that one after you've done your performance here, Justin. Take that one along home. Please wear it on your tour, if you would. I hope you wouldn't mind doing that. Hey, once again, it's great having you in the studio. If I could invite you to go onto our uh, official stage and do your new single. Okay, Hello, thank you very much. your wildest dreams. You. Right. Hello, this is Paul McCartney, and you're watching Europe's number one rock show, Countdown.